Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason Bees. It is the beginning of May and it is time to release all your bees. We have a few more kits, about 350 to 400 more kits going out this week, the beginning of May. And by then everyone should have their bees out. It is time, it is Mason Bee springtime. Uh, a lot of you are asking me, where did my bees go? I put them out a couple weeks. I put them out at the beginning of April. What's going on with you? What's going on with my bees? So I thought rather than typing you a big long email and telling you how to get a paper towel and a piece of paper, I'll just show you what to do with your bees. So I came out to check on my bees. Um, yesterday it was beautiful and sunny here and then it was lots of bee activity. Today it's a little chilly and windy and I can still see a little trickling of my bees. But as I came out here, look at this. I noticed that there are a bunch of cocoons blocking the front of the hole. So if you come out and you see that, help your little bees out by just taking this and kind of shaking it down so that if there are any bees left to emerge, they can crawl out of that hole and then you can just put it back. But I'm going to show you how to check on your cocoons. My paper just flew over, so let me go grab this. So there's lots of little bees. I'm already getting, hello little bee. That's, oh, that one was covered in pollen. So what you're going to do to check on your cocoons is you're going to get a piece of paper or a paper towel and you're going to twist twist pull this is not a screw top this is just a twist pull and you're going to dump out all your cocoons onto a piece of paper or the paper towel and then you're going to examine your cocoons and see how many have emerged so it looks like for the most part mine have emerged by the way do you hear that crackling sound if you hear that coming from your um your tube that's the bee chewing out of the cocoon. I'll be quiet and I'll do this. Can you hear that? That's what it sounds like when they're cracking. Anyways, it looks like most of my bees did emerge. It looks like I have maybe one, two, three, four, five, six or so that have not emerged. So I'll give those a little bit more time. But you make sure you have to dump all of your cocoons and all the contents back into the tube. The smells from the cocoons and the boys when they emerge that were on that, you wanna make sure you get that back in the tube. Again, put the lid back on, jostle it down. When you start seeing mason bee activity, the boys are gonna emerge first. They're gonna mark it with the scent mark. This is like a little muddy scent mark that you can see on the tube here, if you wanna zoom in on that. Those are the mud marks that the boys have left. You can see they're kind of on the house, they're kind of everywhere. And what those bees are doing is they're saying, hey ladies, come and find me, here I am. They're marking it to get the ladies to come back. They're marking it for so they know where to come back to. So that's a really good sign when you see the mud markings. Um, that means that the boys have emerged, the girls will come out about a week or so later, just depending on your weather and timing and where everything is. If you aren't seeing any mason bee activity and you have had your bees out for a long time, I want you to check on your cocoons. Take a look at them, have they all emerged? If they have all emerged, then you know they're out in your habitat and they're pollinating and they're finding natural holes in your habitat. It's okay if they don't come back to your block. I know it's a lot of fun to see them. We mark this with scent mark. We try to attract them on to help you out. But sometimes your habitat is just so amazing. They want to hang out in your yard and lay babies in your yard. So don't worry about it. If you did open your tube and examine everything and you notice that there are empty cocoons and everyone's emerged, then that's where they're at. That's what they're doing. So I just wanted to do a quick video today to show you um, how to check on your bees, examine the tube and make sure that there's nothing blocking this too because as they're crawling out that hole can get blocked by empty cocoons so anyways give me a call if you have any questions or pop me an email info at rentmasonbees.com check our youtube channel i do a ton of videos on our youtube at rentmasonbees or our website and happy pollinating bye